<sighs> All right. So, you know, I think people are having a hard time watching my um, class of uh, tutorials for this game. So I'll try to break this down as simple as possible in like minutes to two videos. So this is your mobile suit. You, This is a legendary one. He comes out at three stars. Those are the details. HP, attack, defense, strength, and you level up to 30. That's the max. You can't go further. You start off to five stars. You have to get a lot of shards. I don't know the max yet because I'm working on a level one as we speak to kind of get that information. So you start off to get an extra attack and some a little extra HP, and that's how that works. Parts. Very important that you do not Spend gems on parts. I can't stress that enough. Never spend gems. You go here. You get these tickets right here. These nice pink tickets. You go to the corpse supply. You click it to get more tickets. You go to single mission and adventure mode. It's the last tab that's highlighted blue here. That's blackish. Then you click the middle tab in the single mission department. And then you're doing exploration. You complete all the stages, you get four tickets. If you complete all nine stages, you get three tickets for free. Do not spend gems on that gotcha. I repeat, do not spend gems. So that's another way to boost your Gundam further when it comes to HP and attack and defense. Carry, it needs its Gundam pilot so it can use its specials and have its proper attack equipment. Crew, this is what we're gonna explain in another video briefly and shortly. Skills, they just tell you what the attacks do, what are the combos, what else can this punch do, side punch, this punch, that punch, everywhere a punch punch, hyper armor type deals. And um, this just says awaken, and this just says his special attack and what it's like, a physical yada yada. Anyways, talents, another important quality. Again, we'll go over how you're going to unlock this later, but for now we're just talking about Mr. Garage and your units. Talents unlock more of your character's potential and attack power. Gives it extra little passes if necessary. And the last passive is always the godly pass that turns them into gods. But that takes a long time because you are F2P. So that's how the garage function really works. Then there's formation, how you make your guns. You put the Gundam in, yada, yada. Take Korra gun them out and put them back in. Then you can just make up a set team of three. You don't really need to spend gems for extra slots. It's not worth it. Uh, collection buff, it, this just shows you what gotcha they're in. This is the legendary gotcha. This is more the purple gotcha when you see that purple sign. This is corpse where you have to do single uh, alliance missions to unlock these units. And this is just um, your blue gotcha units that I talk about where you have to get blue triangles and you can unlock them once they're in the um, blue triangle selection screen. And if you star up, they do mean star up. They don't want you to bar up. You have to get units with stars. That's the whole point about this game. If you wailed, you're pretty much getting three stars, two stars, two stars, yada, 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 yada. And so on and so forth. So then you have your collection there. You can switch up if you wanted to see like this screen. So that is your garage. Any questions is at, in this video, just ask below if you have a question. But one last thing to let you guys know, you cannot, I repeat for parts, you cannot get VS Crown. This does not exist. Even if you go to the mall section, it does not exist. It's a full gotcha pull, which makes it tricky to get. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Stay safe. And if you have any questions, just ask it on this video about the garage function. Peace.